Good evening. Much of Southern California is a danger zone tonight. Ferocious wildfires are on the move, whipped up by winds and burning out of control, consuming everything in their way. From Malibu right on down to San Diego and the Mexican border, more than 11,000 firefighters are on the ground tonight, all trying to beat back the flames. But so far they are losing the battle. And as Steve Futterman reports, more than a quarter of a million people have now been driven from their homes. Fanned by the winds and fueled by dry brush, there has been no stopping the fires burning their way across Southern California. More than a dozen of them are now on the move, and just two days after they started, firefighters say they are overwhelmed. Uh, some have described it as a uh, freight train coming at them. It's very loud. Uh, it's uh, very hot, very intense, uh, very dangerous. And paying the price, home and business owners. The wildfires have already consumed hundreds of buildings, from some millionaire mansions in Malibu to house after house further south in the many towns surrounding San Diego. His dad won't leave the house, and my friend is trapped in there right now. That mountain is part of his house right there, and he can't, he can't get out. And it just broke loose. I mean, it's like freaking Armageddon around here. Touring the rubble today, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger declared seven counties to be in a state of emergency. It's a tragic time for California. The devastating fires have killed so far one person. They've injured four firefighters. Containing the fires is not going to be easy, thanks in part to the Santa Ana winds. Again today, they were gusting up to 100 kilometers an hour, driving the fire on and also choking firefighters with smoke plumes that could clearly be seen from space. And for those living just downwind, there was no choice but to flee. More than 250,000 of them were ordered from their homes, including the residents of an entire town. We moved in here in 1993, and three days later we lost our house in uh, the 93 fire. So we've gone through this before. Authorities were also quick to evacuate many hospitals and senior homes, as no one can be sure where the flames are going to pop up next. Southern California is in the middle of one of the driest years it's ever recorded. And until the winds die down or heavy rain falls, these wildfires are likely to have the upper hand. Steve Futterman, CBC News, Malibu, California.